You need an air dryer for my compressor or for a compressor wherever I go. I want it to be portable and it's got to be an absolute air dryer where the air coming out of it is completely dry. So uh, I'm going to be shooting paint with it is why. Paint and gel coat and that type of thing. I do have a uh, water separator on my compressor here in the shop and it does a pretty good job but not to the, it doesn't remove uh, moisture to the point or oil where you could actually use it to do any type of fine painting with or anything. Um, it's fine for using with my plasma cutter and my sandblaster. It, it dries the air enough for that, but I need that completely dry air. And I also want it to be portable because someplace I'm going to be using this this winter is not here, but in another shop. And he has no uh, water filters or anything on his air compressor there. So this is not sponsored, by the way. I bought all this stuff. I've looked on Amazon, of course, just like everybody else does anymore for something. And I wanted a four stage uh, filter dryer. Found this here. It's from a company called Nanpu. And I'll put a link in the description on where to get one of these if you'd like. Now I'll tell you a little bit about this thing. Okay, what you get in the package is you do not get these fittings on the ends. You've you got to get supply your own. But this is a pre filter, micro filter. This is also a pressure regulator. Then you have two desiccant dryers. It also comes with uh, extra filter elements for the pre-filter and the uh, micro-filter. Whoops! You get some spare O-rings and springs and such as that. And you get eight packets of these blue silica beads. And that's what you fill these two cartridges with. Plus I bought an extra quart of them just in case I needed them. Um, I didn't know this came with all this. I thought it only came with two extra packs, but it was eight of them all together. So that's fine. Uh, it's got a pressure gauge you need to put on. It does come with a roll of Teflon tape to use, but it's not very good quality, so I use my own. So what's the purpose of the valve here? Uh, when this is not in use, it would be open to atmospheric air, and if it would happen to be humid, that would actually eventually turn these beads in here from blue to pink, and have to change them. So therefore I put a valve on here, so I can shut, that completely shuts this off and isolates it. This end is where my uh, air hose will hook up, so that's blocked off anyway internally. So that keeps me from uh, getting any kind of uh, moisture in there when I'm not using it. And when I am shooting paint, I do have a, another one that I keep on the gun right here. And it works pretty well. This one's starting to turn from blue to pink a little bit because it's had quite a bit of use. But I keep the end of that taped and this valve here shut off to, uh, again, to keep that from getting polluted in there, so to speak. So it's always the, uh, best to be on the safe side, if you're painting something and you get water droplets that come out in your lacquer or enamel or urethane or whatever you're painting, you're not going to be happy. And it's really, really hard to fix because you're going to have to wait till it flashes off, dries, go back to sand it out and shoot it over. Hence the air dryer. As far as the mount for this, it's just something I kind of threw together quick out of some plywood scraps. Uh, this bottom piece is a piece of three quarter plywood, this piece of half inch plywood. Got a little handle hole in there so I can carry it around. Through a couple of uh, two by twos on each side, make it good and sturdy, keep it from tipping. And I did move this to the back of this piece here a little bit to kind of, kind of give it some more footing so it wouldn't want to tip over forward. So, there's just a, a little quick video. I'll give you an idea if you need to have an air dryer for your air compressor and you want it to be portable. I know normally portable and air dryer don't go together. Yes, it'd be nice to have a refrigerated dryer. Those are also very, very expensive. I did this whole thing under here on here for about 200 and, uh, $230, $235. Dollars. So uh, yeah, this isn't cheap, but you don't want a real cheap one either. You want something that works because again, if you are spraying a fine finish and you get a water droplet in there, you're not going to be happy. This will eliminate that. And it's also important for the air hose that connects over here that that air hose is already dry and you haven't been using it for something and it's got water droplets in it, so you want to make sure that's purged real well before you start uh, using it to put finishes on. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up, always helps the channel. Again, I'm not sponsored by Nanpu or anybody else on this. Something I needed, I built, thought I'd pass along the idea in case you wanted to make one. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.